What is up everybody, it's Sentinel of Jokers here, and today we're going to be talking about Fire Emblem Awakening, and I'm, I'll be giving you the review that uh, I told you guys I'd be giving you a while ago. So, we are in Fireheart, uh, just a little bit about the gameplay, we're in Fire something. Char area, uh, world completion, had to do it, and yep, okay, uh, review time. Uh, so, first of all, Fire Emblem Awakening, definitely two thumbs up. If you do, if you want the TLDR version, it is an amazing game, highly recommended to anyone with the 3DS. Uh, even if you don't enjoy the strategy, turn-based RPG thing, I think it's amazing, so I definitely recommend it. Uh, getting into the details, I think the plot is fantastic. I love the uh, the length of the game. I, I prefer long games, so I think the length of the game could be even longer. That's probably because it was an amazing game, and so I'm kind of biased because if the game is amazing, I want it to be as long as possible. If the game sucks, I want it to be over with as soon as possible. So, uh, length of the game, I mean, it was good. I liked it overall. The... The characters, definitely something I want to touch on. Characters move the story along. They're very interesting, very engaging. I think all of them have something uh, interesting to offer to the overall story. And one of the things that, that help their help their cause, I guess you could say, is the way that support conversations are integrated in this game. And the way that it's easier than ever before to get, uh, get into them. Which is something that not a lot of people always understood in the old Fire Emblems because it was, it was kind of confusing as to when you could initiate a support conversation. When you could actually, um, uh, when when they when they would work, when they wouldn't, and so this game has it all figured out. If you guys, if your units move towards the support conversation, they'll get a little heart uh, after they after they're done doing whatever it was that helped them get to that point. A little heart will pop up on their screen for a second, and they'll have a little noise, and so you'll know that they're you one step closer to making that support conversation. And they're very, uh, they're very easy. As soon as you open up the menu, you can open a support menu, and then you have the whole, uh, you have the icon flashing, and it'll tell you that you have a support conversation, which is great. Uh, it ties in really well with the pair up mechanic that was introduced in this game because the higher your support, the better your pair up stats will be, which is very, uh, I think, is a very good idea because it offers good integration of the whole idea, and then as well as keeping the old Fire Emblem intact and then mixing it with the new to create a good experience for everyone, I think. And so that was really smart by the uh, developers. Uh, so the support conversations, not only do they provide uh, just character insight, they also provide some story insight. And so for any of you people that like the lore, you guys will definitely be into those. And you can even get your characters married, which will have some interesting effects on the future. Um, especially on the later chapters in the game, it opens up some interesting possibilities. Uh, so yeah, support conversations and characters are both fantastic. Furthermore, let's move on to the graphics. Graphics uh, just threw me back at first because they were so good. I wasn't expecting it at all. I thought the 3DS was kind of a weak system. I really had no high expectations of it, and I thought it was just going to be another run of the mill Fire Emblem game. And I was completely wrong. The graphics are amazing. I <laughs> was completely stunned because they offer full cutscenes in game which I did not expect at all they they look like they could belong on the Wii or you know Wii or GameCube that looks like something right out of Path of Radiance the cutscenes are awesome uh, I wish there were a little more in the game because I, there's only I don't know there's not enough to satiate that kind of lust for the amazing graphics that they do provide so I wish there was a little bit more of them but I'm not complaining I thought they were great nonetheless uh, so the graphics, yeah, amazing. The, the fight scenes are great. You can see yeah, every individual character is is modeled in their own fight scenes. So there's no like Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem One and Sacred Stones where the people mostly have just different colors and then they uh, go off into battle, which I think is great. I actually didn't turn off the battle animations, which I normally do in Fire Emblems because they just take too long. But these are these can be sped up, they can be slowed down. So if you want to watch, like if you want to edit your own little battle thing on the fly, I, I guess you could. Uh, which is cool, and then the graphics are amazing, so overall graphics, big thumbs up to uh, the developers again. Furthermore, you have the, uh, uh, a new, a new um, I don't know, addition to the series is that you can make your own character for once, which I think is cool. Uh, this own character, he becomes your avatar, as he's uh, called in-game. You can name him, you can choose his strong stats, his weak stats. Which I didn't actually expect, but I've always wanted in a Fire Emblem game the ability to make your own character. And I think it works. It definitely works. Your character has great dialogue. It's n he's not a silent he's not a silent protagonist, which uh, which I think is a really smart decision because Fire Emblem is kind of story driven. 
and so he really melds right in. At first, it seems like your cliche kind of way to to enter the game as your own made protagonist, but uh, you'll see through. You'll see as the plot develops that it's really much more deep and much more complex. Which I have to again salute the developers on uh, creating such a great, great plot. And there are at times where I was scratching my head in the plot, but uh, everything, and I can guarantee everything, is revealed at the end. And everything makes sense by the time you're done with the game. Uh, the ending scene, uh, I'll just I'll just let you know that there are two different endings uh, based on an action. Based on yeah, I'll just say that there are two different endings because I don't want to spoil too much. Uh, yeah, two different endings, and then one of the endings is is phenomenal. I'll just say that if you really pay attention throughout the whole game, you will understand why this ending is so great, and then you will definitely, well, not definitely, but hopefully you'll agree with me because I think the ending is great. Uh, so yeah, the the uh, Avatar is again a great uh, addition to the game. I think the uh, they also include paralogs, uh, which are the side quests of the game. I think they're uh, added very well. I think there's about uh, the same amount of side quests as there are regular quests, which is rarity, which is a rarity in Fire Emblem. But uh, can I not kill this game? Oh, I guess I can. Okay. So yeah, the it, I thought it's a rarity, but uh, I think it's a good thing that you can have all these different side quests, and they're really interesting as the game. Uh, there are only five side quests that I think are that you just unlock basically. Well, I shouldn't say that, because they're releasing some as DLC, which is another point, but I'll get to that in a second. They're releasing a lot of these side quests as DLC, and so some of them you unlock just by doing the story, and some of them you unlock in other ways. But overall, the uh, the paralogs are very interesting, and at the end of the end near the end of the game, you get some very interesting paralogs that uh, will, will offer some interesting plot development and interesting character development, so it's definitely, definitely a plus in my book. Furthermore, to DLC, they've never done DLC in a Fire Emblem before, and I think they do it very well. I think they integrate a lot of cool stuff. Uh, the Paralogs and the DLC both offer uh, a way to see characters from Fire Emblem's past, which I think is cool. Uh, in the Paralogs, you get to recruit them for your team. I haven't really looked into the DLC as much because I was trying to... You can grind off the DLC, which I was trying not to do for my first playthrough, because I and I didn't... Uh, and in the DLC, you can in Paralogs, you can recruit characters for your team that you wouldn't normally get otherwise. And so, for my first playthrough, I wanted to do a pure no DLC, no grinding playthrough. And uh, so I haven't really delved all that deep into it. My brother has, so maybe he could tell you more about it. But uh, from what I have seen, it is very cool, and I do uh, enjoy what I've played. So, yeah, so what have I covered? Story, graphics, uh, the combat's the same as ever. They have some, they have some cool weapons, uh, named after some of the, uh, uh, characters from older series, which is very, which is a nice little, nice little touch, I guess. And so, overall, I think the game is spectacular. The story is great, so are the graphics, and then the, it, it feels like a best of Fire Emblem because of all the integration of the cool components from Fire Emblem's past, you can have so much uh, variety in the game itself, and it just works. It it literally it just there's no other way to say it. It all comes together for a seamless, cohesive experience that you will definitely enjoy playing through. And I, I can't say anything else. I was so engrossed by it that I I stopped playing Guild Wars. Like I told Blitz that I'm not playing Guild Wars because Fire Emblem Awakening is fantastic. So he'll have to wait for me, but uh. Now I finished the game. I'll definitely be going back through it to see some different uh, choices that I could have made in terms of party and and other choices that arise throughout the game. But yeah, I th just overall the game is fantastic. I give it two thumbs up, 9.5 out of 10. I would definitely recommend anyone with an interest in the genre to give it a try. If you guys have played it and want to let me know your thoughts, I would definitely love to hear them because... You could definitely get an interesting conversation going about this game, and so yeah. So leave anything, uh, leave any comments below, and I hope you guys enjoyed.